What's up, everyone? It is the 24th of July. I am at the airport headed to Rome, Italy. Um, I'm going to take care of some business regarding my career. I'm not going to be specific as to why I'm going um, because that would kind of defeat the purpose of showing you guys like what is to come in the future. But I'm very excited. Um, it's some behind the scenes stuff. I'm not like doing a show or, or hosting a party. It's mostly like behind the scenes stuff that's going to get me more opportunity for the future. So I'm excited a lot. Uh, me and um, a team Laban person is going and yeah. So um, I'm excited about it. It's going to be fun. Uh, riding business class so it's going to be relaxing so I'll show you a little bit of that on camera but I'm tired because I really haven't had any rest and then Friday my mind decided to lose my passport so I've been tearing up my house all day yesterday and today looking for it and I found it this morning so what's up this is Kensha <laughs> I mean, what's up? <laughs> and we are headed to Rome in business class. This is the way to travel. This is the way we do it. Um, I'm so looking forward to the trip. We're going to have so much fun. Can't wait to eat. Can't wait to eat. Oh. Shop. Parlay. Make some money. You know, that's how we do. So, uh, I'll show you a little bit as we're actually flying. But let me get drunk. But it's the plane. We have made it to Rome and we're waiting for our baggage to be picked up so we can head to the hotel. Um, the flight was literally, um, I want to say like eight hours of turbulence. <laughs> but I agree. It is what it is. We made it safely. The pilot did a great job. The food was excellent. Good sleep, good movies. Although I did not like that movie, Battle of Los Angeles. The name sound like. <laughs> <laughs> but we have fun, you know, on the plane. And now we're going to look for the hotel. we got to find where the hotel shuttle is. So. We're staying at a very nice hotel. Very nice, so show you that when we get there. <laughs> yep, so we're gonna go straight to sleep, then hit the time. great mixture of like modern and contemporary um, architecture and, and interior design so uh, it's you know the hotel is it's very spacious as well like you really can have an event in the lobby if you know you wanted to but gorgeous and the actual room is dope as well um, so I'd encourage you to stay here if you ever um, plan on visiting Rome it's, the location is a little far from the city, but there they have a shuttle, and the public transportation actually comes all the way out here to take you there, so, you know, it'll work. But I'm about to go in my room and crash. I'm so tired. I was on the bus nodding off like a dope head. <laughs> so, I'm about to go to bed. See you later. We're right in front of the, the United Nations building. I have a friend that works here. She's from Detroit and she, uh, we're gonna meet up with her. I bought her a little surprise. Oh, this one. She wanted me to bring her some flaming Hot Cheetos. So I went to the store and got them for her. I got her a couple bags of them. So these, these Italian people are looking at me like I'm crazy because I got some Cheetos, but so far, so good. Um, this Euro is dangerous. Yeah. And they can tell that you're a tourist and they really try to get over on you. 
But it is what it is. They gotta make their money. But they're trying the wrong one. I turn <laughs> I turn Italy out. <laughs> Shit. But uh we're about to go meet up with my girl Jessica and then take care of business. Get something to eat because I'm starving too. What's up? So I'm drinking some beer. What's the name of this beer? Uh, Shemai. This is Jessica, my Detroit homie, <laughs> who is a big executive for the United Nations. <laughs> but for drinking this beer, I never Belgian beer. I never drink beer, however, this is pretty good. But I won't be drinking it anymore because I don't want to lose my ass. <laughs> however, this place, Jessica will pronounce for us. Aristo Campo. Campo. And you buy a drink and you get a free buffet. Mm. So it's like a sweet, like I would I would say it's like a dessert beer if they have a such thing. Good. It really does. And I like the cover. Some of her friends that work with her at the UN. So, back to our conversation. Isn't it amazing? But then you have to come back during the day and see it during the day. Oh my God. We are in front of the Colosseum in Rome. Go ahead. No. And. is letting them have it. No, it's just that I don't want your cloth. I don't want your nightlight. I don't want none of it. Everything is already expensive. Oh, that's the train station right there? Oh. Cool. But this is the Colosseum. Now, just to show you how far we've come in civilization. People used to get killed here for sports. Like, that's just so bizarre now. I guess what you would call, what's that, ultimate fighting? <laughs> kind of what happened here, minus the death. Well, yeah, you know what I mean. But anyway, the architecture is so beautiful. Um, and the fact that it's been, okay, that wasn't originally there. No, that wasn't originally there. <laughs> they always got to ask. Well, that's only there temporarily. Oh, okay. That wasn't there when I first went to. Okay. But it's really gorgeous. I'll show you guys it. We're in the subway system right now. And they're playing Prince. <laughs> they are playing Prince in the subway in Rome. How dope. Now, I'm a little concerned that we may be getting lost soon because I don't know which direction we need to go. And everyone in the subway system is American. So what we're gonna do is just get on this train and wait. That's the. She said take it to um, Basilica, but I don't know which one is running there. Like I don't know if we're on the right side or not. Color. I actually would love to have 
a bathroom this color. It's like a, I guess a peaches, peaches like clay. I don't know, but this is the bathroom. And this is me in it. This is the little thing to clean your butt. And this is a thing to get the stuff out of your butt. <laughs> this is the shower. I mean, you want the shower in the bathtub. It's dope. Really nice. So, I'm about to catch some sleep. I'll see you in the morning so we can, like, go and take care of some business. Today was fun. I get a chance to chill with all my people. But... Now it's time to take care of some business. Good night. So good morning. Um, today is a new day. It is July the, let's see, 28th, I think. <laughs> um, we've, we've kind of been between jet lag and between just like ripping and running. Um, I'm kind of confused as to what day it is, but um, I'm outside the hotel waiting for uh, my friend to be done so she could come on downstairs so we can all go and start off our day. Um, I'm just, I'm like looking over the hills and just thinking how blessed I am to be able to come here and to be able to, to just travel in general, like my job allows me to travel, me doing stuff for my career. And I'm just really blessed and grateful because I realize that so many people would love to be in a situation like that. And although it can be tiresome sometimes and although it can be, you know, kind of straining and stressful and expensive, I'm grateful that I have the opportunity and I have the means to be able to do that. Like it, it, it feels good to be able to come to Rome and and to just explore and that to be a part of my job. Um, I'm out here doing some work that, um, doing some pre-work for some potential work. So, uh, you know, I'm just kind of soaking in the city, seeing if this is some place that I want to go and uh, possibly do some projects in. But um, the one thing I can say is, it's funny how there's some like singers in America who really aren't that like I would say like A-list but they advertise them in Rome as if they're like the hot stuff like one singer to be exact you know he's not really big at all in America but you know everyone knows who he is but he's not you know like he's not like on like the big caliber like the Usher would be or even like on the level of Trey Songs. but yeah he's out here like gigging and promoting this music and hosting parties. And I think that's great because, you know, it's a prime example that if your market necessarily is in America, your market can be somewhere. Like there's so many countries around the world who may embrace you, so don't stop just because America quite doesn't understand you or because, you know, you may not be the hottest thing in the country. So it was a great thing to see because I would have never guessed that he would be working out in Rome you know, hosting huge parties, but he is, and so, you know, that's great for him. But today is gonna to be another busy day. I have a lot of work I need to do, a lot of places I need to see, so that I can know what to do when I come back for work purposes, so. Um, you'll see a little bit of it on camera, so stay tuned.